YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give you six tips to help you stay fit over the holidays. My first tip is to pick low calorie drinks. So I know you're going to be attending some parties over the holidays. So I'm going to give you my five favorite low calorie drinks. So the first one is a vodka water. One ounce of vodka rings in at 64 calories. Uh, obviously water is no calories. If you really don't like the vodka water, you can squeeze some fresh lemon or lime in it. Or if you still don't like that, you can add the Mio's or Crystallites in it to make it taste like a juice. The second low calorie drink I would recommend is a vodka soda, so it's very similar again. Vodka soda rings in at 96 calories a little bit higher just because of the soda. My third recommendation would be a small glass of champagne. So a four ounce glass rings in at 90 calories. My fourth low calorie drink is a uh, red or sweet white wine. Uh, and they range depending on the glass, uh, 110 calories to 130 calories. And my fifth one may shock you, but if you're gonna go for a beer, try to drink a Guinness. Now, the first time I ever had a Guinness, I thought it was going to be very thick tasting, um, but it's actually very smooth. And a 12 ounce glass rings in at 128 calories. My second tip is to get moving the day after your big meal. You may not feel like moving, you may feel paralyzed on the couch right after the meal, but the next day, your body's gonna be full with so many more calories. Just take that and use it as energy and get your butt to the gym. And if your gym's closed, like go for a walk or something outside. <laughs> My third tip is to bring a healthy option. So I'm sure you're probably attending a Christmas party or maybe even a potluck where the host has asked everyone to bring something. So you could easily bring a veggie or fruit tray, something very healthy like that. Or it's also very fun, which I love to do, is uh, take a recipe and just kind of clean it up. Uh, use healthier options. I mean, there's tons all over the internet nowadays. So you can have a little bit of fun with it. Um, and then when you're at the party, you know there's gonna be a healthy option there for you. My fourth tip is to try a seasonal activity. So with the winter months comes countless new activities. So I challenge you to try something new. Um, skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, cross country skiing, ice skating, organized pond hockey. That's all I can think of. You get the idea, uh, take advantage of uh, these fun outdoor activities. Another extra tip is that getting outside to do your physical activity rather than always doing it in the gym is being out in nature will reduce your stress levels and also reduce depression levels. Right, my fifth tip is to just pick one or two treats. So, like I said previously, you're going to be going to a lot of festive events. So rather than just standing by the food table, just pick one or two things and then move on. Just pick those one or two things that are always your favorite, maybe your grandmother's chocolate fudge or something else that someone only makes during Christmas time. Just eat those things and avoid the things that you can have all year round. All right, my sixth and final tip is to not go back for seconds until you wait for 20 minutes. And I'm gonna explain this a little bit further. So the feeling of full comes on when your brain reacts with chemicals that are caused by food and drink being put into your body. Your brain does not realize that it's full for at least 20 minutes. So instead of finishing your plate and just running back to get second, chill out, wait 20 minutes, and then assess if you're really full or if you deserve another plate. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. I hope you guys are all having an amazing holiday. Next few videos is going to be my very first Q&A. So if you have something that you would like to ask me, it could be fitness related, health related, lifestyle, um, anything. I'm really open to whatever you guys have. So please comment below. Thanks again for watching and putting up with my dorky, obnoxious outfit. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.